Hi, welcome to Scrollsaw Video. In this short tutorial, I am going to teach you how to take this scroll saw cutout. We're going to take this picture and modify it to this picture. You'll see I have added a frame around the outside. I've added my website name across the top and a small graphic to the right. So here's before picture, just the cutout. Here's the after picture. Now one reason to do this is if you're adding pictures to your website, this is a little bit more pleasing. Another feature, this will help deter theft of your copyrighted material. So let's get started with this short tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at scrollsawvideo at gmail.com. Okay, here I have opened Photoshop Elements and I have imported this picture. This is a uh, finished cutout of a pattern that I, that I previously designed. So I'm going to put a frame around this picture and I'm going to put my website name across the top. So let's get started. I'll show you how to get that done. Over here on the right, you'll see the create button. Go and click on the create and below that you'll see projects and artwork. Click on the artwork project button and you'll see all these icons come up here on the right. Under the content you'll see the by type and backgrounds. We're going to start off with the backgrounds and you'll see the little black arrow to the right. Left click on that and pull your pointer down until you see the frames, which would be the second one down. Click on that. And in this window, you'll see all these frames come up. You'll see the slidey bar, slider bar to the right. Let's see, come on. Down here at the bottom, you can see your favorites. To do that, just put your pointer over the frame that you like, click and drag, and it'll drop it in your favorite folder. I like this frame right here, and this, this one right here also. Not, I have previously dragged it down to my favorites. Now I'm going to put this frame around this picture. So I'll put my, um, put my pointer over the frame, left click twice, you see that my hourglass came up, and presto changeo, you put the frame right over the picture. Uh, you can move the picture around if you need to, you see this little arrow in there, just cl click and drag. Just like you do in a Word application. Center it as good as you can. Whatever you think is best for your picture. If you don't have it quite centered exactly, you can come down here to these little squares at the bottom or in the center on the right side. Click and drag and pull your picture to fit the frame. After you have done that to your liking, come up here to this green check or the uh, red circle. I click the red circle and cancel what I just did. I'm going to pull this down again like that. That suits me well. So I want to click on the check button and it saves this. So now I'm going to put my website name Cross right here, the top, of the, the top of the picture, inside the frame. So go back over here to types again on the right. I'm click on that little black triangle. Go down to text. Left click on that also. You see several different colors of text come up. You can move, move the slider down 
just like in the frames you'll see all the different colors of text now because I'm going to put my website name right here I'm going to use a dark font so this one right here looks fine I'm just put my pointer up top of this dark font click twice and you'll see this window come up right here just with it, with this text box highlighted like it is type in your um, website address or your company name or whatever you like I'm going to type in scroll saw video.com that's good I double clicked outside of the box looks good to me so I'm going to click on this green arrow to prove it okay I want to move this those words up here so I'm inside of the box with the pointer I'm just going to click and drag move it up you'll see that it still extends my wooden frame in the picture so I'm going to go over to the right side click and drag pull it on over I'm going to pull it on over just a little bit more to there click the check button it accepted this no problem okay come back over here to the okay come back over to the text button click on a little black triangle and there'll be a graphics section I'm going to left click on that and you'll see all these little different pictures come up now if you wanted to import one of these pictures you would do it the same way as we did the, the text or the frame and since my name is scroll saw video they have a film reel in this graphics section which is right here so I had previously left click and dragged it to my favorites which is down here so I'm going to put my pointer on top of this film reel Double click and it added it on top of the picture so on the corners I'm going to minimize this left click and drag make it smaller looks good check button so now I'm just going to left click and drag it put it right here next to my com left click anywhere outside of these little squares that's circling this graphic everything looks good okay we're done with this picture we're going to save this I'm going to come up here to the file I'm going to save this in two different formats the first format we'll scroll down the save as button you'll need to find out which file you want to keep your picture under so I'm going to go to my documents oh, excuse me I'm going to my pictures file and I have a file called modified pics that I'm going to keep this picture in okay I'm going to click on it I'm going to replace their existing one correct so that saved it as a um, Photoshop file. So now I'm going to save it to a JPEG file. I'm going to go back up to the file button, top left, hit the file, scroll down, save as. Come over here where it says file name. I'm keeping the file name, but the format. I'm going to open up the window and come down here and save it as a JPEG. So left click on this JPEG, hit save. 
hit OK. I'm replacing the previous one that I saved earlier. This window will come up. Uh, not a very important window. I always just click the OK button. And we're done with this. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Hope you have a chance to use it. Thanks.